We are Cody and Olivia. Last year, we left the U.S. to drive our Land Cruiser all the way south to Argentina on the Pan American Highway. Currently, we're in Mexico, and we traded our Toyota for a Renault to shuttle us from Veracruz to Mexico City. What's up, guys? It is 6.30 in the morning. Ron just found a pack of cats. Um, 6.30 in the morning, and it is our last morning in Veracruz. Um, we're getting a rental car today and we're going to make the six hour drive to Mexico City and then once we get to Mexico City we got an Airbnb for just about two weeks and we will actually be able to go out and do stuff because uh, in Veracruz there is almost nothing to do. So guys they do on the ground over here. Sit. It's time for me to hail a taxi and in all my life, because I'm from the countryside, I've never had to hail a taxi. So we'll see how this goes. Gracias. ¿Cómo se llama? José Luis. José Luis. Mucho gusto. Ok. Gracias. Adiós. Sí, cuídate, cuídate. Oh, man. Rental cars are not a straightforward process. I'm running a little bit late, but I have to go back to our Airbnb, pick up Olivia and Roan, get all of our stuff put into this car, and then we gotta go to Petco to pick up something so Roan can fly back to the United States. Finally back. Uh, kind of the weird, annoying thing about this Airbnb is that there's only one key and you need it to unlock all of the doors, so Olivia couldn't have left even if she wanted to, unless she wanted to jump off the balcony. My buddies. You guys ready to go to Mexico City? Let's go! Hey. Oh my gosh, that was a quest. Starbies. I thought this rental car was going to be nicer than the Troopy, um, but there are no cup holders. No, I mean, there are on the side, but you can't put your coffee in them. So. All right, time to actually get started on this five and a half hour drive to Mexico City. But first, check out our sweet new ride, the 2022 Renault Quid. With its three-cylinder, one-liter engine, it cranks out a staggering 60 horsepower for navigating all the crazy streets of Mexico. English Australia, except dollar. Kept ourselves busy over the next six hours, listening to Matthew McConaughey's audiobook and watching all the ridiculous Mexican driving setups we passed. He got to his feet. I'm sorry, Dad. Mike shut. I'm sorry. Dad stood straight. Hold number six or seven already on this trip. It's going to cost us like $50 in tolls to drive to Mexico City. 
not even including the fuel and the $300 this rental car ended up costing us. It was only supposed to cost 190 You know, it doesn't look as appetizing. It's, it's like delicious, that. though. We to use up our food stash, I attempted to make Japanese onigiri on the road from leftover sushi rice and seaweed wraps. Charles Haley, Michael Irvin. They had dropped the bills in the previous Super Bowl and opened the Holy crap. It wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Honestly, though, it's hard to feel too upset about the price of these toll roads. We saved up plenty of money to be able to do this road trip. And hopefully the roads in Mexico will be nicer next time we come here. The hype surrounding my arrival was off the charts, being hailed as the next big thing. Matthew McConaughey saves the movies was the We're absolutely flying through this drive. It is, I don't know, just crazy how fast you can drive in a vehicle that's not 37 years old and weighs 7,000 pounds and has no stab stabilization bars. Um, we only have like an hour, hour and a half left in the drive and we're stopped trying to register this rent rental vehicle uh, as a tourist vehicle in Mexico City because it is illegal to drive any foreign vehicle in Mexico City today and it doesn't meet emission, blah, 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 like all of these sort of things. So to avoid a like $250 fine or something like that. We're gonna try and register it, but the website doesn't seem to work very well, naturally. So we weren't able to get our permit and the people who pull you over, they're right there in the transit truck and uh, they're outside like, they're searching for us, people just like us, they, they want our money. All right, we made it to our Airbnb without getting pulled over, but we're not dead yet. We still have to drive this vehicle to the airport, which is on the other side of town. Um, e, the gate's opening. I don't want to get hit. All right, like I was saying, um, we're not done yet. We still have to take this rental car to the airport on the other side of town. Uh, and hopefully not get pulled over, but I think it should be fine. Uh, all right, buddy. Time to go up. Wait. <laughs> no, sit. Free. That's nice. Yeah, nice. You happen to have a bed run? Yeah. Are you worshiping your couch? Check out the absolute mayhem of the shipping process. Just all of the shit that has to come with you when you live in your vehicle and then you can no longer live in your vehicle. And you have a dog. And you have a dog. It's a massive crate. Cool. Yeah, it's such a bulk amount of stuff um but like hopefully soon we're gonna be like getting rid of a lot of it which is groceries and whatnot um but right now uh we're done moving in so we're just gonna take that rental car back to hertz and then uh go get something for dinner so all six and a half hours of driving today only cost us like 35 dollars in terms of fuel <laughs> um, which i'm sure this car is efficient like 35 miles plus to the gallon um but the troopy would have been much more expensive. My theory is the only way to avoid getting a ticket for driving on a day we're not supposed to is to just drive fast. They can't give you a ticket if you they can't catch you. Yeah, we made it without getting a ticket. Cop didn't even look at us, nothing at all. So the car has been returned, no additional charges on that. So we are trying to find a place to go and get pizza. Oh. Yeah. 
estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Bienvenidos. Cheers, buddy. Congratulations to completing Mexico. Completing Mexico. I still have a whole week here. Gracias. Gracias. Oh, it's good. What are you saying, buddy? It's delicious. Can't wait to get it in my mouth. nice and thin and crispy. Well, that is not a bad start to our time in Mexico City, despite driving for like six hours, more than six hours actually. Um, I feel really good today. It's crazy how driving a modern car isn't as tiring as driving our super old, so incredibly loud Land Cruiser. Um, but honestly, like I'd take the Land Cruiser any day. It's just like so much more enjoyable to drive. It's much more of a process and Part of that process is exhaustion, but um, that's okay. I'm gonna miss it over the next two months. But uh, what are you saying about Mexico City so far? I like it, it's a vibe, for sure. <laughs> that's number 27. No, it's not. You couldn't afford 27 with 20 pesos. <laughs> You're never gonna let it go, are you? Oh, did you hear that? That high pitched bark? Has <laughs> <laughs> he been crying the whole time? Or did he hear us? I think he, he heard us. He probably heard us. Oh my god. <laughs> we gotta take him off the stairs. Yeah. Or just walking up the stairs and we <laughs> heard Rhodes' high pitched bark. Thankfully, it didn't sound too loud. Oh, well, we can hear it over there. Breathe. Got the sneezes? Got the sneezes? Are you gonna pee on me? He says, yeah, probably. Don't pee. Well, do you love us? Do you love us? Give me, give me, give me. We ended up putting the camera down for the rest of our time in Mexico City. If we're being honest, traveling overland through Mexico wasn't quite what we had envisioned it would be. We really enjoyed our time in Mexico City, seeing the sights, eating the best tacos of our trip, and I think not pressuring ourselves to film everything played a large role in that. Between being novice travelers and attempting to create content for YouTube, we ended up facing challenges we hadn't been expecting. In the moment, it was difficult to see past our frustrations, and though we probably didn't portray it well, Mexico is a beautiful country with a lot to offer travelers. The next time we visit, we'll be better prepared. After all, you can't expect everything to go smoothly in your first country. Our next video has us back in South America adventuring through Colombia. Subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs>